Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we are going to cover how to use the join command. It falls under the operators block and it's a green block and it takes two values and you use it typically when you're doing string manipulation. If you remember strings are just a bunch of characters like A, B, C, D that are joined together to make things like words and sentences. So if we go and have a look at our operators block we go down here to where the string manipulation blocks are. We have join letter x of world, letter or length of world. We're going to look at this one. Now, as you can see, the join has two parts. And the reason we're going to go over the join today is because some of you seem to be having trouble with using more than one join block together. So, as you can see, we've got join hello world. And if we want to display that on the screen, we're going to have to put it in a, a block, something like say, and we drag it in. And to start our program, we need one of these guys. Now we run, and it says hello world for two seconds. Now saying hello world is not that interesting because we could have just as easily typed hello world in straight into the say command, and it would have done the same thing. But let's take it step by step. Let's start off and say hello Bob and let's pretend that every time there's a space we need to use the join command. So we've already got hello, let's capitalize the H and let's put Bob in here and let's put it in there. And let's run it and we've got hello Bob. Okay, important thing to note is that we have got a space on the end here. If we take that space out and we run the program, you'll see there's no space here. So it's very important when you're joining words up that need a space in between that you put a space on the end and then it'll display correctly. All right, now we've done an easy two word thing. How about doing three words? How are you? Three words. Okay, so if we're going to be using more than two words, we're going to need more than one join block. Alright, so first block, we're going to say how space r space, and then in this one, we're going to put a u in the end, because we're going to put the first block inside there. So we'll say how r join u. So we put the how are you and we've got two joins and we put that in and we run our program how are you. So that is how you put it together. If we wanted to make something longer we can clear these out. Let's say something like um, what day is it today? So we're going to say what space day space okay is space it space today space well actually no space just a question mark now the reason why we left the first ones blank is so that we can put the other blocks inside them. So we're going to say what day is it today. And then we put it into our say block, restart our program, and it says what day is it today. Now let's look at something a bit more challenging. Okay, We are going to ask the user what their name is and we are going to say hello Bob or hello whatever the name is that they put in. So let's get rid of that. Let's go to our sensing blocks. Ask what is your name. Remember the answer gets stored in the answer block. And we are going to say hello space answer. And we put that in our say block. Run our program. What is your name? Sally. Hello Sally. So that is a more practical application of joining strings together. 
and we usually use it to join strings where we don't know all pieces before the program is run. Another example is what are we if we going to ask them a maths question. So let's say we are going to create two numbers, call them number one and number two. All right, and we are going to set them to a random value. So we get our pick random block and a random value between 1 and 10. And we'll do the same for number 2. And we'll make it a random value between 11 and 20. And we'll go and do that at the top when we start. And then we're going to say what is number 1 plus number 2. So we need our join blocks, okay, and we need to go get our variables, and we're going to need more than one join block, so let's get a couple of them. And we are going to start off and we are going to say what is space number one, clear that out, space plus space. Actually, let's take the spaces out to see what happens. And then number two. Okay, and we might also want a question mark. So instead of putting number two, we'll put a question mark in there. Now we join them up. What is number one plus number two? And then add our question mark on the end. There we go. Question mark. And we put that in there. Okay, and then we can say, leave that off and run our program. And what is 3 plus 20? Okay, and we can type anything in and the program will carry on running. Now, as you saw there, there's no spaces in between the plus or the 3, the plus and the 19. So let's go back here and put a space before the plus and a space after the plus, run our program again and there it is formatted in a better way. So this again is another way to do your joining. Now let's do something where we don't put any words in, we just put it in a, a mathematical way. So the same way that you would do it in maths. So let's get rid of that, go back to our operators stop our program, get our join, and we are going to say number one space plus space to get our spacing right. Okay, let's get rid of those. We're going to need a couple of joins. Oops. So number one, remember leave the first bit blank so we can join them up. So number one plus number two, okay, space equals space, and we can put our question mark there, so we don't need that one, and then we join them up. So we have number one plus number two equals question mark, and we put that in our ask block, run our program, 10 plus 19 equals question mark. And that is more the way that you would ask it in maths. I hope you can see how the joins work. I know it's not always easy to see on the screen. If we take it apart now and we pull our joins out, you can see how we start with one where we put two values together. The next one we leave the first bit open and only put something into the second. And we carry on like that. And then as we go up, we put the one before into the white block one before into the open white block and then when you're done you can put it into your ask. I hope that helps you understand how joins work in Scratch and please stay tuned and watch our other videos. Thank you.